welcome to another episode of James Plays Nuclear Throne. Oh, did that again. Clicked out of the screen. Okay, and we're back. Alright, so. There it is. I just like seeing it there. You know? Uh, we're going to do the daily. And we are going to play as Crystal. Because why not? Alright. Again, we are still trying to get the um, uh, frog pistol, unlock frog, thingamajig. Uh, but that's definitely not... I, I've decided we're not going to be pursuing that as actively. Since we have my whole life to get that achievement, and it's one of, like, the last ones. Um, maybe my whole life is a bit of an exaggeration. My point is that, like, the achievement isn't going anywhere. Um, and while I'd like to get it, um, I kind of also just want to have some fun for a little bit. Uh, not saying that the getting the achievement isn't fun. Um... Yeah, we're gonna make bad decisions on the daily. <laughs> what a wonderful thing to do. Um, not saying that, you know, it wouldn't be fun to get the achievement. But, but um, you know, I want to do a few more carefree runs in the meantime. So it's exactly what we're, exactly what we're gonna do. Get those rads. <sighs> Even when it's just a couple of rads that I miss. I still feel bad about it. You know, it's insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but um, also I just love using Gamagus to kill weak enemies. It's just so satisfying. Nice and quick and easy. Right. You know what? We will take the screwdriver. Um, like I said, we're, we're still passively trying to get the... Um, the thing. So we may as well do things that enable us to get that. One of those would be getting a golden weapon. I think one of the more difficult things about getting this uh, achievement slash unlocking frog is that you need to take the golden weapon all the way to, you know, a, a, through a loop, right? And no golden weapon is really good enough to normally justify that. So you've got a much weaker weapon than you would normally have. Which makes things trickier. Because um, you're, you're, it kind of makes it so that you're down to one weapon. Unless it's the golden crossbow, I can't really imagine any other golden weapon being that useful. Um, like a golden grenade launcher, a golden you know, golden machine gun, none of those are really going to be that helpful for you at all. So, just be careful not to blow up the wrong car, that was not the golden car. Gotta be on the lookout for it. Oftentimes these guys will, will blow it up on their own, so that we have to be very careful about. Flame trap. Don't have to worry about that. There's our car. Look at you. There's the car. Uh, let's just grab that so we're not carrying the uh, carrying the screwdriver down to this floor. Let's see what we've got. I love the music here too. Uh, I don't know how well you can hear it, but it's this actually quite good rap song. Yeah, that's right. I listen to rap. A high concentration of enemies. You probably do that thing that's uh, Crystal's second ability, where you can shield and become temporarily invincible to bullet damage, that I totally have not been taking advantage of whatsoever. Or that thing where I walk into enemies and they die. You know, that would probably be useful if I used it at all. Wonderful. Especially well here. Hit. Okay, hit by you. Splinter gun has been a lot more effective than I thought it would be. A golden weapon would be something good. Yeah, golden shotgun I can see being at least somewhat helpful. Uh, after a certain point, we will more or less just be using one weapon. Um, that, you know, whatever weapon isn't the golden shotgun. But, um... 
I don't think that's a hugely tremendous handicap. Especially with a lot of offensive mutations. Now, um, Crystal's definitely in... I was about to say Crystal's an easier character, but that involves not getting hit. Um, so I think we can put uh, health mutations on a slightly lower priority. However... Black Cannon. Black Cannon versus Plasma. I'm gonna take the Plasma Rifle. And not be just because I like it, I think it might actually be a somewhat useful weapon for this floor. In terms of offensive mutations, we have... Uh, good ones right now. We... Going forward, I'm gonna look to pick up ones that help us not die. Or really, it's just, you know, whatever comes up. Like I said before, I've been trying really to think less about... Okay, that is a really good one. Uh, and by one, I mean weapon. Uh, this may be the weapon we take the whole way. Actually, I think this will work. Because uh, we need to. we can worry less about ammo because we've got our second weapon that we're not going to use at all, just giving us ammo. Um, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use... I'm not... Yeah, shotgun shoulders. I, this is one of the first times I've taken it. I mean, I've taken it before, but not really um, kind of seriously. I'm just like, hey, shotgun shoulders. It'll be kind of weird. Um... But this is the first time that I think it would be the most effective uh, weapon for us. I'm probably going to start ignoring uh, weapons chests since I can't really think of a single weapon that would make me change up my loadout right now. Um, Gatling Slugger is the best weapon for this situation. Especially now that we have the mutation. Okay, now here's what I want to know. I know shotgun shoulders like makes shells bounce a lot more. But does it make them just go farther in general? Like, I, I feel like it does. Because shells, like, they, they don't usually go very far. So I guess this gives your shell weapons a lot of range. Now, the other thing is I know shells um, have a bonus to do damage the closer you are, like the closer you fire them. Does shotgun shoulders affect that at all? Yeah, we're gonna take strong spirit. Oh, this is a little hunter fight, isn't it? I always, like, am so bad, or is it? Yeah, it is. So bad at like keeping track of. Oh, don't explode next to me, please. Keeping track of what level we're on. Particularly when it comes to the frozen city. I mean, obviously, like the intermediary levels, it's like, oh, are you on the sewers? Yes. Then you. Then in that case, yes, you were on the sewers. Um. But uh, I don't know. I, I always feel like I forget when the little hunter fight is. We're still doing okay for ammo. These mutations are really gonna... Oh, let's pay attention to fighting you guys. Um, that was uh, obscene. Um, these mutations, is, uh, if I could finish my sentence for a uh, fourth time, are going to really help us on this floor. Um, impact wrists. Oh, but the jackhammer, though. Jackhammer. This is the first time since I discovered the Jackhammer's true potential that I think I'm going to ignore it. Trust me, if if this were any other case, I would ignore the fact that we have... Oh, I'm so tempted. The mutation, though. No, we can't. If we weren't crystal and we needed a melee weapon more urgently, then I would definitely take it. Um, like, in, in any other circumstance, I would take it. 
Auto crossbow. Oh, now you're just making fun of me. God. I have to keep these weapons. I think the um, uh, Gatling Slugger does have a higher damage output than the auto crossbow, but that's just purely conjecture. I feel like it does, though, and I f my, my feels are for reals. Either way, the, the damage is very close. Oh god. Health kit, health kit, health kit. We lost our strong spirit and we're almost out of shells. This uh, went south rather quickly. Uh, what's that? It's a regular slugger. At least it gave us ammo. We can, we can recover. Um, yeah, Rabbit Paw will really help us. We need to survive this floor, which I think we're doing okay at, and then have double minigun. We're just going to pick this up just to... Oh, that's the grenade up there. Okay. Just to kind of do this with. Alright, that was dumb of me to take that damage. But that was really fun, using the double minigun. I like picking up... I know this is not good gameplay, but I really like picking up weapons um, to use just on the floor, because they're really fun. Like, sometimes I'll pick up a, a super bazooka and just you know, fire it in the general direction of my enemies a bunch of times, or a Gatling bazooka. Um, and oftentimes I've gotten killed by that, which is entirely my own fault. So, take that as you will, I guess. Um, still, though, I think it's fun. I think it's important to remember in Nuclear Throne that for all the, like, optimal gameplay and min-maxing, sometimes you gotta do things that just don't make sense, just because they're fun, you know? Uh, I think in this in this run where we were not expecting to get it at all, we are really well positioned t to get um, that frog pistol. Now, of course, as soon as I've said that, um, something will go catastrophically wrong. But still got to hope for the best. There's our full health back and strong spirit. Which makes me a lot more comfortable. And I'm particularly liking how this run is going. How this fight, rather. And run in general, I guess. Really, really good mutations. Uh, don't get too close to the explosions. Yeah, really good mutations. The Gatling Slugger has just been carrying us. Um, gosh, none of these are good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Eagle Eyes, but seriously. I mean, they were good. Don't get me wrong. They, they were really good. Oh, don't get. Don't touch him. Because that will end our run. Um, but they were just not at all what we were looking for. Ammo, and on to the loop. The loop, -de -loop. God, this is just insane. As long as we don't run out of ammo, I really think we're good. Although that's true for most um, loops ever. Hey, as long as I don't run out of ammo, I'm fine. Five minutes later, runs out of ammo. God, this, this Gatling Slugger is just too good. More shotgun ammo. I really think having the other shotgun has 
has it's i think it's hampered us but it's enabled us to kind of do a bit of a different strategy because normally you kind of focus on what two weapons you're gonna do but with this having just taken the shotgun as a as a guaranteed sort of thing um, i can instead just focus on what one weapon i'm gonna do Um, knowing that I'm going to get more shotgun ammo. Because the ammo that you get is based on um, what two weapons... Oh, there's the van. What two weapons you have when you pick up the ammo thing. Now, it is, uh, it is affected by um, which weapon is equipped at the time of you um, picking up. Now, this is, you know, if you go to an ammo chest or... Um, oh, I should have gone to that. If you pick up an ammo chest, or if you go to the... Uh, if you pick up, like, an ammo drop, I think they call them mini ammo chests. Um, either one, it's, it's the same way. Yeah, that was... Take care of those guys. There used to be a bug, I don't know if it's still in the game, where if you, ki if you killed big bandit too quickly oh what oh i touched him didn't i damn man oh, we're not gonna do too well i don't well I, it's 21 hours left yeah uh yeah three three loop two so anyways thanks so much for watching um don't be sad that we didn't get the achievement be happy that we had a fun run um that's all I've got to say for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.